Hello guys, this is Nilesh Kamre from WindowsITExports.com and in this video I am going to show you how to create group policy in your domain. So I have a Windows Server 2012 R2 domain controller and my domain name is Contester.com. So on the Contester.com I have Bangalore OU. And in that Bangalore OU, I have certain sub OUs that is desktop, groups, laptops, users. And now I am going to create a one group policy to manage these uh, users or computers into this sub OU. So to open group policy, go to server manager, go to tools, group policy management and you can see group policy management console there are other ways as well you can from use windows r key on the keyboard and type gpmc.msc enter and you will get the same management console from administrative tools you can also find group policy management console So now there are two default group policies that is default domain controller policy, default domain policy. So default domain policy will apply to all over the domain in respect to two OUs. So it will apply on all the OUs, users and computers. Default domain controller policy is apply on only domain controllers. So this is you can see there is default domain controller policy. This is what group policy objects. This is the main folder where all the group policies are stored and we have to just give a link to OUs. We are only giving links to other OUs to apply settings. <coughs> so group policy objects. We can create group policy objects here. Create and click on new. Test series 2 underscore GPO. Click on OK. I created group policy but it is not yet link. So to create a group policy and link it on the same OU, we can create it on OU directly. So, I have a desktop OU and I want to apply certain settings for computers. So, I will click, right click on it, create GPO in this domain and link it here. It will create a group policy objects in this domain and it will link to this OU. Create a GPO I settings underscore GPO. In case I want to apply some IE settings or some settings which are registry settings. I have just used IE settings underscore GPO as an example. So click on OK. Show. Here you can see it has created link as well. So group policy is created in this OU as well and link it over here as well. So you can see the difference between test002 underscore GPO and I settings underscore GPO. This policy test002 underscore GPO is not linked to any of the organizational unit but I settings underscore GPO is a link to desktop OU. So that's it from this video. Keep watching for more videos on group policy. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.